people like you and I are lifelong learners. We're thirsty for knowledge, and we keep learning all our lives about all kinds of different things from history and technology, medicine, nutrition, health, psychology, human behavior, you know, space, astronomy, all kinds of things. And in my 50 years on this planet, I continue to learn more every year. And as I do that, I'm, I'm astonished at how little people know, even people who are my age. It's, it's incredible. And you probably run into this too. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody at a dinner table or something, maybe a Thanksgiving dinner, a family member or a friend or something, and you find out that they are completely clueless about food and nutrition. Like people don't even know what are trans fats. They don't even know like what's MSG <laughs> or they don't, they don't understand like what is, what does organic even mean? People don't know that fruits are good for diabetics. I'm not talking about processed fruit juice, but fresh fruits. People don't even know what causes diabetes. They'll sit there, they'll be shooting themselves up with insulin because they're diabetic and then drinking sodas. And they're wondering like why their blood sugar goes so high. It's the most basic knowledge imaginable. Like, hey, you're drinking a can of liquid sugar and you don't know why your blood sugar is going up? Are you are you serious? Like the most basic information is not known by people, but it's not just health. It's history. It's hist history of the world, history of the Middle East. And I, I admit that I didn't, there's a lot that I don't know either, but at least I know the basics. I know that Islam is at war with Christianity and has been so since what, the year 600 something AD. I, even I know that. Even I know that, you know, modern mathematics and science is based on pioneers from the Middle East, present day Iran. Even I know that, that you know, the events described in the Bible took place in, in Turkey and Jordan and modern day Israel and so on. I mean, just, just the basics. Even I know that Syria used to be a Christian country. Just basic information. But people don't even know the basics. They don't even, even Americans don't understand the history of America. They don't seem to know that America was not the, the creator of slavery in the world, that America was founded by people who then over time rejected slavery, that there were other slaves, that many of the slaves throughout world history were white slaves, that the Roman Empire had slaves that Brazil had slaves and, and a massive slave trade throughout the Caribbean, by the way, and much of South America. You know, people just don't know the basics of human history. And no wonder it's so easy for people to repeat the mistakes of history when they've never learned any actual history. They don't even know Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. <laughs> they, I mean, just that they don't know that the KKK was run by Democrats, founded by Democrats, and supported by Democrats to take away guns from black people, among other things, so that blacks were disarmed and, and unable to defend themselves. So gun control has always been part of the Democrats to take away power from defenseless minorities, just as it is today. Gun control is about disarming the public and putting the government in charge with a monopoly of firepower. People don't even know that the most dangerous institution in the world, in the history of humanity, that has murdered 262 million people is government. Government is the single most monstrous mass murderer in the history of our world. Government. And often communists, by the way. People don't know that socialism doesn't work. That communism always leads to massive human suffering and secret executions and dark dungeons and torture chambers. And the reason people don't know any of this is because the schools, the public schools today, don't teach anything except victimization and how to be a cry bully, social justice warriors. They don't teach actual history. They don't teach mathematics or science or anything anymore. It's just teaching people how to be victims. And then the, the schools teach the students that America is bad, even though America rejected slavery. 
America freed the slaves. America changed the laws and changed history. But the school kids today aren't taught any of that. They're not taught that America was founded on Christian principles. They're not taught anything that matters. This is why it's hard for people like us, you and I, to have any kind of social interaction with sort of normal, everyday people because they're operating at the idiot level where they're experts in things that are on TV. And that's basically their life. They can tell you what movie's on, what football game is on, which player is the MVP this year. They can tell you who won the awards at the Grammys or the Emmys or the Slammys or the Crappies or whatever they are. And that's their world. That's all they know. Oh, brands. And they're all into brands. They go crazy to buy brand name shoes and sandals and purses and dresses and shirts and belts and boots. And they're insane about this. And then they can't understand why people like you and I want to buy rifles, things that actually have a practical purpose. Like, no, your, your stupid Gucci purse is pointless. My Daniel Defense rifle actually functions. It does something important. Or Bravo Company, BCM rifle. How about that? Even better. But the, the, the point is, so many people are living in a world of shallow knowledge where they don't know anything about how reality works. They don't understand science, gravity, astronomy, chemistry, uh, philosophy, psychology, anthropology, uh, geology, like nothing. But those of us who are lifelong learners, like you and I, you know, we could talk intelligently about all those subjects and much more. Knowledge matters. And then we have these people that get into Congress, like Ocasio-Cortez, 29 years old, complete moron, right? Has an IQ lower than one of the donkeys on my ranch, let's say that, and doesn't know anything at all, and yet thinks that she's going to create a utopia in America by banning the combustion engine. <laughs> these people are insane. But you see, they don't know how stupid they are. because. Society is biased today to, to tell people that they're geniuses if they just promote transgenderism and just promote like endless illegal immigration, all these liberal agendas, as long as you promote pedophilia and murdering babies as they're born and all that, you are, you are called a genius. You're celebrated as a genius. You're given awards. You're given jobs and money and celebration and applause. And so these people who are morons, they think they're geniuses and they're the dumbest people. I shouldn't even use that. What is not the right word? They are the most idiotic people on this planet and they think they're the smartest, but they know nothing. They know nothing about medicine, technology, engineering. They know nothing about history, nothing, human behavior, economics, nothing. They are big fat zeros. Like Ocasio-Cortez is a zero. She has zero knowledge. Actually, she's got anti-knowledge. She's, she's like negative something, negative 5,000 knowledge. <laughs> like her IQ should be, should be described in negative integers. <laughs> like your IQ, oh, is minus 47. Yeah, because all the things you think you know are the opposite of what's real. So you have a negative IQ. <laughs> we should just flip it, call it, it's, it's your QI. You have a minus 47 QI there. But it's, you know, even at age 50 and with all that I know, I still don't think that I know enough to, to be able to make decisions to rule over some society. It's, it's wrong. The, the best leaders are those who get out of the way and let the people rule over themselves. Even a genius cannot control the world and the economy from a central location. A real genius would get out of the way and have small government and say, you people, you run your own system. Just set rules for the free market, you know, like honor contracts, you know, no insider trading, no marketing fraud, whatever. Just set some basic rules and let the free market work it out. That's what a real genius would do. And people like Ocasio-Cortez can't understand that because, of course, they're too stupid to have any coherent thoughts on anything that matters. It's incredible. Now keep reading my website to stay informed, naturalnews.com. 
naturalnews.com. And of course, you can hear my podcasts at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching Counterthink. I want to remind you that my work is supported by the Health Ranger Store. Healthrangerstore.com, we are the only online retailer of foods, superfoods, and nutritional supplements that now conducts glyphosate testing in an ISO accredited laboratory that we own, that I run. We test our products for glyphosate and certify them to be glyphosate tested. You can see the icons on our website. If you want clean food, check out healthrangerstore.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.